Good morning. I'm very thankful that I was asked to share my favorite Bi one of my favorite Bible stories today because, um, as you can see from my Bible, it's quite worn, and I get a lot of strength and encouragement from the words. So, what story am I going to share? I'm going to share the story that you all know of Jesus feeding the 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. Why do I like this story? I like this story, I first heard this story in Sunday school many, many years ago. Um, and I like this story because it involves a little boy. A little boy is key to some of the activities of this story. I also like this story because it was important enough to be included in every single gospel. Very few stories appear in all the gospels, but the story of the feeding of the 5,000 appears in all the gospels, but only the gospel of John mentions the boy. So, you know the story. Jesus has been uh, preaching and teaching and healing among the people, and so the crowds are following him, not mainly because of his teaching and his preaching, probably more so because of the miracles he's performing. Either way, crowds are following him. And he, at one point, takes the disciples and tries to move away from the crowd, but, ah, surprise, the crowd follows him. So now he has these 5,000-plus people who have come to see him, hear him, just be in his presence, and Jesus turns to Philip and says, where are you going to get the food to feed them all? And Philip, I'm sure, thinks many things in his head, but then responds with, it's eight days of wages that would need, we need to feed these people, and we don't have anywhere near that. And I think he's probably a little concerned that Jesus is even asking him this because he knows the situation. But Jesus waits him out, and then Andrew discovers this little boy who has come forward with the, a lunch. The lunch, his mom probably packed him that morning and said, if you're going to go and be out all day, take your lunch. So he offers his lunch to Jesus to say, do with it what you will. And Andrew, of course, sees this lunch and says, it isn't going to go very far. <laughs> it's enough for one little boy. And so in that moment, Jesus doesn't question any of it. He just takes that, those two fish and those five little loaves of bread, those five rolls, and thanks God for it. Thank you for the food you have provided us this day. And then tells the disciples, hand it out, distribute it among the people. And wouldn't you know, everybody had enough to eat, and there were 12 baskets of food left after that. So the story, when I learned it as a child, was just fascinating to me. I often gravitated to the stories that involve food in the Bible, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Um, it just, it, it just that miracle was amazing to me, and it was a, amazing because it started with a little boy's lunch. That's what appealed to me then. But as the years went by, over and over and over, I think of this story. I think of the times I think I don't have enough. This can't possibly work here. I don't have enough faith. I don't have enough courage. I don't have enough conviction. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough just self-worth to do this. And if I take the time to remember and thank God for what he has blessed me with, most times there's more than enough, and there's more than enough to share. Thank you. <laughs> 